Good afternoon guys, it's moving day. Uh, we're in the back of the van at the minute. You can see we're getting everything in and organized, lots of boxes. Um, it's gonna have to be two trips, I'm afraid. We're hoping to do it in one, but it looks like it's gonna have to be two. So get loaded up and uh, see you in a bit. the vlog. Say hi Toby. Hi. We've been trying for about 20 minutes to try and get a sofa apart. Thought maybe the, the little bolt thing that it clips into was stuck fast or something. But no, Marina noticed another bolt that we hadn't That's taken out. And it came straight out. And Toby's gone to get a hammer from the shop. Oh well, uh, yeah. House is getting a bit empty now. It's got the mattress and a few other little things to take to the van. It's about 5.30, <laughs> the van's almost full. Look. Oh my God. We thought we'd be able to do this in one trip, no chance. Um, I mean, it's not completely full up, but uh, I don't want to be overloaded, so left a bit of a gap. We'll have to come back down Saturday morning and um, do it then, so we'll see you in a bit. And here's our bedroom. Oh, it's echoey. That's going to be what we're sleeping on tonight. We've got an airbed with a mattress. Final night in the house. And moving on. Okay, we're ready to go now. Fully packed up. Well, everything except for the stuff Tom's getting tomorrow. You can probably hear Sirius whining in the background. He's oh, being a little morning. pain because he knows something's up, but he doesn't know what. So now we're ready to go up and we are going to shut the door on West Street. As a couple for the last time, although Tom's going to be back tomorrow. But I'll be back tomorrow. for the last time. <laughs> That's us going. Oh, I just need to have a quick wee. Hang on. Don't you dare do that. Oh, God. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay, take two. <laughs> now we're shutting the door for the last time. Jeez. Bye, Westry. Say bye, boys. Okay. Hope guys excited. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in Ulverston, or possibly at a pit stop on the way, but probably in Ulverston. guys we've just got keys just been to the estate agent um bit of a long journey up it took about five and a half hours in total uh normally it would take about four and a half we had to stop a couple of times and there's been a bit of traffic but um we're about a mile away from the house now not even that half a mile uh, my mum's waiting there with the big van and uh yeah like i say we just got the keys so next stop open the front door i guess <laughs> see you in a bit well we got here uh doors open Forgot to record us walking in for the first time, so the next clip you see is going to be a full house. Uh, we started taking stuff out of the van already, as you can see. About halfway done, it's taken us about 45 minutes to an hour so far, so I want to get out of here by four o'clock. Get a sausage roll around my mouth. Mum's just gone to Boobs to get sausage rolls. Supermarket, just there. Got like you know, the McDonald's, just there. There's Mountain Warehouse, all sorts, so really good location. Oh, last few bits. Nearly there, aren't we, babe? Nearly there, nearly there. Nearly there. 
Last thing. Take it away, Marie. I can't get it under yet. Oh, well, alright, I'll prop it, you pull it on. Teamwork. Oop. We're in, babe. Nearly. We're it's in. Not a whole van for it. You're gonna crash. I'm not gonna crash. I might crash. All right, we'll just lift it in. Right, back in the old house. So we've driven down. Sorry if it's a bit echoey. So me and Mum drove back from Olverston. Um, oh, some of the roads were closed. We had to get diverted. It took ages. We got back about. 9.30, I think, came back to this old house, our old house, uh, loaded up the rest of the stuff. There was quite a bit, to be fair. It was all loose, so it wasn't, wasn't ideal. And then we had to hot foot it over to my mum's place, and oh my God, it was so tight getting into where she lives, because um, there's like a, a row of shops and then a, a roof that goes over the top, and oh, I don't know how we got under it. Anyway, we got under and, um, filled up the van with all the boxes, took us to about 11. Um, then I, I was gonna stay at my mum's, park the car in the car park, but uh, I decided to come back to the old house and I'll set up the air bed in the living room, as you can see. Yeah, so I'll set up the air bed uh, in the old room. And I can set my alarm for 4 a.m. I think, I'll see how I feel when I get up. Um, I think I'll be okay. Um, yeah, it's a four hour drive. Not had much sleep. We we're up early this morning and it's now currently, yeah, it's 20 past 11. So four and a half hours sleep, hopefully. And then back on the road up to Alberston, drop off uh, all the stuff. And then we've got to take the van back to Barrow and got to be back by 12. So that's why I've got to start early. Uh, yeah. A bit emotional to be honest. Um, been a really good house. Really enjoyed living here. Um, you know, it's not a perfect house, but our landlord's a good friend of ours, so he's been really good to us. And this house has been really good. Got a lot of good memories here. Um, a lot of sad memories as well. A lot of stress. A lot of other stuff. But overall, it's been a, been a good place to stay. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited about living in the Lake District. Everybody we talk to is jealous that we're going there. So it must be, it must be doing something right, but I don't know. I think now the moment's here, it's quite scary. And yeah, I'm sure a couple of months in, it'll be a lot better, but just a bit, a bit apprehensive, I guess. So I'm gonna head back to, well, I'm gonna head to bed now, head off to sleep and uh, yeah. I might, uh, I'll probably vlog when, when I get there, when I get to Alderston and hopefully Marie's out of bed. She's been working all night, bless her. So we'll see you back up in the Lake District in, in a few hours. So see you in a bit. Right, good morning, everybody. Um, I've just pulled over because I've had to unsteam the wing mirrors, which is a really annoying thing about this van. The wing mirrors and the, the side window keep steaming up, but we're about halfway up on uh, day two of the move. Uh, set off at about four o'clock this morning. Actually, it's a bit later than that. I got up at four o'clock. So it's about 4.30, quarter to five, we actually set off. Um, yeah, pretty tired. We got to bed last night about midnight, so I've not had that much sleep, but I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling a bit more positive than I was last night. A little bit emotional last night, thinking have we done the right thing? Um, you know, leaving all this behind, leaving the house behind, you know, which I love that house. Um, but yeah, no, feeling a lot more positive this morning. Um, we've got loads of stuff in the pack. We've got to unload that. And then we've got to get over to Barrow to drop off the van by 12. Uh, I actually had a phone call yesterday from the guy at the uh, the Enterprise rent-a-car place saying, any chance can you get the van back by nine? And I was like, yeah, it's not going to happen. So um, yeah, we'll get that over to them as quick as possible. And then we're going to, well, I don't know what else we're going to do through, during the day, but we'll give you a quick house tour. Um, and yeah, then we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. Got here uh, just after nine, it's now 10.30 and the van is nice and empty. So the house on the other hand is very full. Uh, luckily we've got a little shed slash, well, I'm gonna call it the back cave. We'll show you that later. 
and you'll see why it's called the Bat Cave. Um, in a back garden or backyard, and a few of the boxes are stored in there at the moment. Not ideal, but hey, right, we've got an hour and a half, well, about an hour actually, to get the van back to Barrow. It's only a 15 minute drive, so shouldn't be too bad. And uh, then we're gonna head over to Kendall. Uh, Marie wants to buy a mattress, a very expensive mattress made from um, Herdwick sheep wool. And then, uh, what else do we wanna get? Oh yeah, we're gonna go and check out doors because we wanna get a front door. We're gonna get a uh, door, like a stable door, so the dogs can't run out when somebody comes. Marie's just staring at me because she wants me to come and do some work, like I haven't been working hard enough already. So, we'll see you in a bit. So this is the new house, sorry for the traffic noise. Um, we've moved everything in now. We were in a rush so we couldn't get video beforehand. So uh, we're going in the new house now. Lots of space as you can see. Oh. Hello boys. Oh, they're happy. Okay, you know what? Come on, okay. This way. Move. We've not some of the boxes still because we've still got some of the We've got dog corner, the dog corner, and our table, which will be able to actually sit and pack my dinner at. The kitchen's pretty much done. Um, but we've got all the cups up there. This was sure exciting. And. We need a new cooker, but that's a job on the list to come. Mm -hmm. And then... Upstairs. Not all the pictures are up yet either, there's plenty more pictures to go up. That's a really part of as well because a walk-in shower and a tub. Got my computer set up, got my TV and PlayStation set up. Yeah, that will be sorted. I just haven't started going through stuff yet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a sofa bed. Uh, it's going to go on this side, just here. Oh, yeah. Let's show you the view out of the window. Beautiful. And that's our garden up there, just next to where that brown thing is there. And then Marie's workspace. I've set up my desk so far but that's all I've really set up in here. Nothing else needs to do some of my box and it's sort of I'm sort of my running stuff. Big mess. Here. Terrible. Shocking. Well. Whatever. And then view same as the bedroom, just a bit higher up. That's the house. We're getting there. We want to bring it over this and put it out the window here. Because we want to go out the window. What's that? Okay. <laughs> Don't need them back. Just have to be careful with these windows because they do open inwards all the way. But we just have to open them from the top rather than outwards. Yeah. Cool. That's it. That's it.